hello unity programmers welcome back in my tutorial today we are going to learn the concept of the animation which means so in which way we can add the different type of animations clip to make one complete animation okay so i'm going to take a very short example to make a kick animation here it will gonna help you to make your complete animation okay so without wasting any time let's get started okay so for making a kick animation we need some animations clip so here i download the three animations clip in which first is our ideal second for the kick roundhouse kick and third is walking so you should also download these three animations clip first we need a plane here on which our character will stand first you need to change its animation type into the humanoid and go to the animation you need to take this loop time and just apply do same for these two okay. so after this just drag and drop our ideal character into the scene over here just drag and drop you can see here we have our character into the scene when you drag this character into the scene this character will automatically add it in the hierarchy change its name okay so after this just press play to see your camera position so just press play i have a character but we need to change its position for looking forward click on the character and here the rotation 180 degree again press play you can see here our character is added into the scene after this we need to add the animator window when you click on this window you can see here we have this animation and here we have the animator so click on this you will get this window here so next thing which we have to do just right click on the assets and go to the create you need to add this animator controller rename it as you want here we have our base layer here base layer is a collection of the different type of animations clip which make one complete animation so just drag and drop first this ideal you can see here this orange box called as the default we need to change its name movement okay so for creating a blend tree you need to click right and here we have the create new blend tree and just double click on the movement you can see we have our blend tree so double click on blend tree here you can see we have our blend tree in which we have to add the motions when you press this plus sign you can see the two options pop out on your screen the add motion field and second one is the new blend tree so we need here to add the add motion field click on it you can see we have motion field here so just drag and drop this ideal animation clip into this motion you can see you have the ideal motion here again press play to add the kick animation clip so for this just drag and drop this into here one more for 
the walking animation clip and change the blend type into the 2D freeform Cartesian here. So after this we need to decide the position of the X and the Y. Okay, so before change the position of the X and the Y for our character, we need to add here the, the two parameter. Let's delete this. <coughs> Just press this plus sign, add the two float parameter. First change its position X and the Y. After few minutes, I will tell you why I set this position of the X and the Y and make it the minus one. First is the for kick and second one is the minus one for walking. We need to add the script. So just right click and go to the create here. The C sharp script click on it, rename it the player I'll click on this okay so here we have our C sharp script first I'm going to write after that I will tell you what I am writing over here Remember this, this public class name will be same as your script name here, the player. After that, first I need to assess the animator in which we add the animations clip. So for assess the animator, I write here the public animator as the animator. It's a variable here. After that, Define here are the two parameter as a float which which we create here the input x and the input y make sure these name will be same as in your script so in the void start I store this animator value into this animator variable here you can see because we need to call this animator just one time and in the void update for define the value of input x here i write the input dot get axis the horizontal input x contains by default the right and the left arrow and input y contains the value by default the upward and the downward arrow key call the value input x as input x as animator dot set float here same for the y axis this script will allow you to assess the character movement so just say first you need to add this player controller into this animator controller here just drag and drop into this after this you need to just drag and drop your script into your player here you can see we need here to add the our parameter this is for the x-axis and this is for the y-axis then go to the player go to the tag and tag it to the player this was the ideal position when you press the left arrow key it will start walking and when you press the right arrow key it will start kick okay guys so i guess our script is working perfectly as we want to make i hope you will like my videos here in my next tutorial